And I hope that you are feeling awesome. All right, guys, it's that time of the week to get back into normality. And I've got to get myself to work today. But anyways, I've got to get this hair sorted out. I need to get downstairs and get myself a cup of coffee because I need one right now. <laughs> coffee and my breakfast and then I'm gonna have to get ready for work. I have done a huge boo-boo. Me and Yvonne was talking last night about presents and things like that we both want, you know, etc. And she told me something she's definitely not interested in having is a present and I'm like, crap, I really wanted her to get that item but unfortunately she's not gonna want it so there's no point in getting it for her, right? So let's just say today I'm gonna have to go and get a refund on that product. However, it's given me enough money to uh, spend on a few other presents so uh, hopefully she should like those. But anyways, let's get on the road and uh, hopefully the traffic's not too bad today. <laughs> Well guys, I've got that item exchanged now and uh, I've got a new one in its place and to be truthfully honest, I think she's going to like this new item better than the old item. But anyways, I've got to say something. I really, really wish that I put my uh, time lapse out this morning because the sky today was absolutely fantastic, honestly. And if you can see there between these clouds here, you visualize all that there being red. However, it looks like it's going to literally throw it down. Just got a few drops here on the windscreen. Right, let's get home and uh, let's get stuff sorted. of putting my uh, camera out today because it looked really really fierce with the uh, different types of uh, dark clouds we've got hello there techie twos hello there little teeny twos and hello there linksy losing there well i got in and i literally thought right i grabbed my camera grabbed my tripod and i've got it set up now doing a time lapse and uh, i'm hoping the angle that i've gone with captures the uh, sky perfectly what are you doing to that poor bag Hey. <laughs> what are you doing in the bag? I'm just getting myself set up here to do the wrapping of the presents, right? And literally, Dini comes in and literally pushes that bag out the way. And I'm like, if you, 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 you want to help me here? Do you want to do some shopping with me? You know, as such, it's just like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? So anyways, I'm going to get this stuff wrapped up now and then I'm going to crack on and do some um, investigation into a future adventure location. And uh, pretty much by that time I've done all that, it'll be time to go and pick up Yvonne from work. It's amazing how light it is over there. It goes all the way to this dark here. However, guys, it's now that time to go and pick up Yvonne. I'm thinking that we're gonna go straight home unless Yvonne's got any ideas of any other places she wants to go today. Wow, guys, listen to all those birds. Absolutely awesome. And that's one of the best things I love about doing mornings, guys. You can hear all the birds tweeting. Absolutely awesome. I love the sound of that. However, guys, I can't wait for a few more months to go by because just over there, guys, absolutely beautiful sunrise. And I just can't wait to show any of you guys the uh, sunrise. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> can't believe how many uh, views my vlog from last week had got. And I'm like, yeah, come on. Let's go and screw those negatives and be happy today. That's how I feel. But anyways, I'm going to head on in. And uh, fingers crossed, hopefully I have a good shift. 
Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing after work uh, today because I was going to go out and do a little bit of an adventure but it's just so cold today at the moment it's like four degrees Celsius and it's just making me go nope I just want to go to work go home have a nice warm bath and then snuggle up and go mmm and play some Minecraft <laughs> Wow guys, look at this sun, it's absolutely beautiful day for weather. It's a little cold, don't get me wrong, but it's absolutely fantastic to look at. But I really, really am kicking myself again for another time. I really wished I put my uh, time lapse video out this morning because the sky was just absolutely to die for, honestly. I've got to admit, I really, really want to go out somewhere after work, but I'm not too sure where I'm going to go. But um, fingers crossed I come up with a good location because this sun and the sky is just absolutely making me want to go out and do something. Honestly, guys, I'm like, ah! Well, guys, I've now finished work and I'm looking for that location I was speaking about earlier. Now, this area that I'm heading towards today, I've got to confess, I've not been there for, you know, I could say about two years now. But the last time I went there, I remembered a beautiful scenery and everything. So I'm hoping that, fingers crossed, guys, it hasn't changed too much. And the best part about this route that I'm taking is I can see the uh, Trent and Mersey Canal to my right hand side and I must admit there's quite a few boats here today as well. That's what I want to get on top of there, guys. That's where we're heading today. Look at that, guys. That sky today is absolutely amazing. I could just imagine myself sitting there looking at you in the, oh, absolutely awesome. But I want to know is what's around here. How cool would it be to get inside this? But it's all got chains and everything around it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there. You go. I've got a lock on that there. So unfortunately, I can't get into that, guys. Just noticed this little uh, path thing going down here. Now I'm hoping that I'm not going to make a mess of myself because I'm wearing my uh, work uniform, not my usual uh, adventure gear. Well, I say path, I mean like dirt path here. Oh, right there, yeah, that's the um, canal there. So if you look here, guys, that's that bridge that I wish I was able to access. And that's the bridge that used to take the coal that used to go from the colliery up around here. It used to take you across there and that used to take you straight into Rougie Town Station. We found ourselves at little uh, steps here, I believe. If you have a location in mind that you think that will look absolutely fantastic in a time lapse, please let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I'm going to head on back to the car now, and then I'm going to get myself home. Big Well, guys, me and Yvonne are now in work, and uh, got to say, we are both not looking forward to today because we are absolutely shattered. However, we are both looking forward to finishing because when we go home, we've got a lot of things to catch up in the house. Just to put this out there, as much as I would love Yvonne to be, she's not my wife. Um, but, you know, we might as well be married because <laughs> we're absolutely awesome together. But anyways, we're at work and now uh, we're going to head on in now. But uh, fingers crossed, guys, we'll have a good shift. The weather today, guys, is absolutely spot on. And to be truthfully honest, I am looking forward to getting home and maybe going out for a little bit of a wander around. However, guys, I set myself up a time lapse earlier and uh, unfortunately, with a lot of condensation, the uh, window of the car was like looking like all messed up and everything and it's made the time lapse look absolutely awful. So I'm gonna have to look into something to stop that happening in the future because I can't miss out on these beautiful sunrises that I see from work. But anyway, Yvonne's now waiting for me in the car. I'm just about to go in and, and uh, get some stuff inside Tesco's and then both of us are gonna make our way home. <laughs> I haven't got a clue guys, we were just absolutely gone delusional. Anyways, let's get home and I gotta admit, the sun is shining beautifully.
Folks, we've just had the worst car trouble ever, and I must admit, I, it was like, what the heck's going on? So a gentleman that um, was literally just parked up next mm. to me, pretty much, uh, gave us a bit of a jump start, and it was absolutely awesome. Yes, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Much appreciated. It just proves, guys, that there is genuinely nice people out there. I will say thank you to the gentleman with the Kia car. Um, it means the world to both me and Yvonne. Anyway, can we go home now? Yes. Hell yes. 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 Well guys, I decided I was going to go out regardless. I'm trying to see different locations within sort of a radius of my home to see where I get great videos from. Absolutely so beautiful guys this is. And this area is widely used with, as you can see, dog walkers. I'm going to take a left here and see what sort of angles I get here. Those talks literally just came up me and I was like, okay, let's get you on camera. Anyways, um, I'm at this area here and I think that this area would be a great area to see the sun set. Not too sure what type of video this is going to create here, guys. But hey ho, let's uh, give it a go. Oh my god, guys, I have had one of the most awesome times doing the time lapse. I have seen so many dogs, I have met so many people, however, there is something else absolutely, like, my memory, like, I never even knew this, guys. We have planes that pass over this area here. Never noticed it before. And then I looked up a couple of times, I'm like, well, where are you going? I've literally been flying in where that plane's going there, been going in that direction over towards that area there. Maybe next time I come to this location, I might actually start counting how many planes I can see. That sunset is looking awesome, guys. The thing that gets to me, right, is looking behind here. Look at the lovely sun on that. All the trees have gone sort of like a golden color, and I've been waiting literally hours for this. Just look at that. Oh, that's looking good. I have definitely enjoyed my time lapse of this location. i got to say, I am definitely looking forward to getting home. I'm absolutely shattered, and I am looking forward to warming up and relaxing. Look what we have to deal with in the morning. Look at this. Boys. What's this all about? <laughs> well, guys, it looks like we've got our alarm clock. Oh. It's always the same with them two, honestly. They literally climb on top of us, as you meow, pester us until we get up out of bed. But anyways, I'm gonna get on downstairs, get the cats fed. Yvonne's just downstairs now, about to make some hot drinks, and um, then I might think about um, editing that sky video that I did yesterday's uh, sunset. It's today, it's just been so windy that uh, me and Yvonne was in the house chatting and we can hear all the fence panels moving and everything. So I'm off to go and check that the car is actually working today. Alrighty then. Alright, let's put that in there. Sure, we're in neutral. Why are you stood there? She was stood there all that time, guys, whilst I was making a video talking to you and starting the car. And she was like, is it started? It started. Started. Yes, it started perfectly fine. But anyway, we're going to get in. It's gone with the... Wow, guys, time just goes too fast. I swear to God, it does. Well, Yvonne and I have got on with our day. She's got off to work. And now it's my turn to go to work. Uh, one of the first things I do when I get to work on a Saturday is I look through the windows at Tesco's to see what till Yvonne's at. Awesome, I've now located her. So uh, I'm gonna get in there, say a quick hi to Yvonne, and then get myself clocked in. 
Well, that's my shift now done, and I'm looking forward to sitting in the car, having a nice cup of coffee, and relaxing for a little bit, because Yvonne will be out shortly as well, and then me and her will be getting ourselves home. There he is, there's Alex Luz. <laughs> Guys, he was literally just running up and down the stairs. As soon as I get the camera out, he's like, no, I'm not going to do that anymore, Dad. But anyways, me and Yvonne are getting ourselves ready to get off to work. And to be truthfully honest, I'm not looking forward to the day because I'm doing two shifts and I'm like, oh my God, I am going to be so shattered tonight. However, guys, me and Yvonne have got to get going. And uh, to be truthfully honest, we are definitely not looking forward to getting out in that horrible weather. Well guys, the weather has not changed during the day. We have had horrible wind, we have had a lot of rain, and it's been literally dismal, but time has just gone so fast. I've already done my first shift, Yvonne's at home now. I'm gonna be going back to work because I'm gonna be helping out because uh, we're having a new floor put in in the petrol station, so I've said, you know, I'll go and help them, you know, strip it all down ready for that. So I'm gonna be going doing that now, but I have to say, I've had one of these days that I'm just like, I feel like I'm never going to feel like I'm going to stop. But anyways, I do have to get to work and uh, I'm hoping, guys, this shift is going to go fast. Oh, wow, guys, I can honestly say I am absolutely shattered. I have pushed so much stuff that my body is telling me you need to go home there, John, and relax. So guys, she is literally purring like crazy there, aren't you, Gertie? Hey, you my lovings? Hey? Well guys, today is Valentine's Day and um, me and Yvonne has chosen to celebrate Valentine's Day a little bit later on because we've got so much stuff to do. Now today is a Monday and we generally go shopping on a Monday. We do like, you know, the washing, we know we put, do stuff around the house. It's basically our day of catching up with, you know, bits and bobs basically. But I've got to confess, I am absolutely freaking shattered guys, honestly. Let's just say, I think I definitely had a workout last night. So when I got back last night, I was uh, sat down and I'm like, oh my God, my body is killing from head to toe, honestly. But anyway, let's uh, get changed then. Well, guys, we arrived literally halfway through doing our shopping. And as I said, it's the rules. You have to come and see the brook every time you come into town. Isn't that right? Oh, yes. But anyways, we're going to carry on doing our shopping and then we're going to head on home and then it's going to be our Valentine's and uh, I'm quite looking forward to it. I don't know about you. Definitely. Definitely. Well guys, it looks like I'm not going to be going out today because I had an area that I wanted to go to today that unfortunately I need it to be completely dry. However guys, I'm going to be staying in, catching up with a few things around the house and pretty much chilling. Me and Yvonne yesterday had an awesome Valentine's Day. It was absolutely fantastic to be able to not go to work because it was literally our first time, wasn't it? Yeah. Since being together, we haven't actually had to work on Valentine's Day and it was just so blissful. Well, anyway, guys, unfortunately, it's where we're going to have to love and leave you. So we both want to say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to me and also to Yvonne here. And always do your best. To stay positive and... School is negative. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye. Bye. See, bye. bye. bye.